you want to argue it, you're going to leave that building. Okay? People pay money, they don't want to see your ass. Don't yell at the reps. If you got a question, after the round. If you got a complaint, after the fight. Be professional. Screaming at me while I'm trying to watch your fighters isn't going to help your fighter. Okay? I make mistakes. Everybody does. I'm going to do the best I can. I'm not going to ref any of the fights my guys are involved in. The other ref won't. Any of the fights these guys are involved in. So if you have a problem, Jeremy Pasley will be upstairs. You can come back and talk to him. We'll get it all taken care of. All right? You're not going to Vaseline out here. You'll Vaseline when you come to the cage. There will be a guy up there to do it. Okay? He's going to check your fingernails and your toenails. He's going to check your gloves. There's going to be a lady back here wrapping your hands. Wade will be back here. One of the coaches, they can sign your wraps, put your gloves on, wrap your gloves, but have somebody sign your wraps before you do it. You can't put tape over the knuckles. You can go through it, but no tape over the knuckles. All right? So if you need tape, cut your nails before you get up here, do it now. Don't make us go. And don't come to the cage without your mouthpiece, without your cup. Your cornerman can walk to the cage all the way up there with you. The Vaseline station, you stop. Two can go into the corner, the rest of them go back. Don't stand in that walkway. If you do it, they're not coming up with the next fighter. They're gonna be out of there. Okay, if you have seats around the cage, you still go back and walk around. You don't walk through where the fighters are going. Sarah, don't walk through the fighter area. Eat rock, Bob. <laughs> so walk back and around if you're going up there with them. Do we have any questions on any of those? Yes, sir. How many corners in the cage at one time? One. You can have rounds. one corner in the cage. We have a doctor, so you don't need a cut man. No Vaseline in between rounds. If there's a cut, he will check the cut. He will check everything. If he says the fight's over, the fight's over. Don't complain to me. Don't complain to anybody else. He will stop the fight if it needs to be stopped. There's a Vaseline guy up there. They're going to worry about everything else. Do we have any questions on any of that? It's going to be a DJ up there. You can take your song up there. They'll play it for you. Just don't bring us a CD that skips. Be respectful. Don't have every other word a dirty cuss word. They'll cut you off and you'll get Culture Club. <laughs> Any questions? Yes? The lineup for the fights. They're make, uh, Wade has it in his hand. There'll be one posted. They're, they're making copies of it now. I got copies stapled at my table. <laughs> okay. Well, I got to give them to each judge, the announcer, the DJ. I got five or six copies, and I got three more than judges, the DJ, <coughs> and I'll get more and the announcer. I'll get more. And then Wade needs one less. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is your doctor. If you have any questions, you can ask him too. Good luck to everybody. Okay. Listen up, please. Um, for those of you who have never fought at a show that I've worked at, just hear me. The great Mike Tyson once said, "Every fighter has a plan until they get hit." Okay. That sounds like good advice. Here's what I say about MMA fighting. Mixed martial arts fighting is like dating. If you rush in, someone's gonna get hurt. Maybe both of you. But if you wait for the perfect opportunity to make your move, it can be a beautiful thing. All right, now having said that, I do not care about your fight at all. I care about you as a person more than I do as you as a fighter. You've got work, school, family to return to. I will make sure you can return to that. If I step into the cage between rounds, to help you, to make sure you can continue. Do not look at me like your mama don't feed you, <laughs> all right? I'm there to help you so you can continue fighting. I will stop the bleeding. I will restore consciousness. I will open your airway. I will save your life, your limb, or your eyesight. Cornerman, if I get in there to help your fighter, don't front on me. I have a job to do. I do it very, very well. I take a lot of pride in my work. I gave all y'all a clean physical, a clean bill of health. So. There are about 60 fighters here who have my back if you want to square off on me. Let me do my job. Like Bob said, cornermen, do not stand up. I can't stand when cornermen stand up and go like this. Your fighter does not gain an advantage by you standing up. All you do is piss off the people behind you who paid to see the show. Okay? Cornermen, be civil to each other. If your fighter wins, great. Don't start talking shit to the guy who lost. Keep it clean. Fighters, tell the women in your lives, I'm a fighter. You're not going to change me. Accept me for who I am or get on with your life without me. So if I work on you back here, keep your women out of my way. I don't need the hysteria. I don't. Uh, cornermen, keep your fingers out of my stuff at the table. That's my stuff. I have gloves for everybody. If you need gloves, I will give you a pair of gloves. If your fighter says he's done, do not call him a pussy. 
It's not your fight. If he can, cannot answer my call, he's done. It's it. It's over. I'm here for their safety. That's the number one reason I'm here. That's why Bob Long has me here. That's why I work at his shows, because he cares about y'all's safety. Um, make sure, ladies, ladies, please keep your fingers out of your opponent's holes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do it. Okay, I don't need to sew up any torn orifices. It's happened. I'm telling you, it happens. Gentlemen, if you get kicked in the nuts or claim to get kicked in the nuts just so you can get five minutes, you can guarantee I'm going into that cage, I'm going under your shorts, around your cup, and I'm gonna feel to make sure everything's where it's supposed to be. So if you're gassed and you wanna take five minutes just to rest, I'm going in there. And uh, yeah, there's somebody here that, yeah, I have soft hands, don't I? Amazing. <laughs> Amazingly soft hands. If you need work, if you need stitches, if you need a bow relocated, I will do it right here for free during intermission, or you can go to the ER and pay $400. I don't care, it's up to you. But I've got everything I need, okay? So again, the only two people who need to see every second of every fight are the official and me. If he says it's over, it's over. If I say it's over, it's over. And if we consult each other and decide it's over, it's over. Buy a DVD and look at the replay. Don't argue with us. Um, I'm sure you're all aware of what's called a flash knockout. It's when you're standing up and you're, you know, and you get hit and you're out before you hit the ground and you're back to reality when you hit the ground. And all you see is this. That's it. That's his call. And I will agree with him 100% of the time. Again, it's all about safety. That's why I'm here. That's why I care about you as a person. Any questions of me? Thank you for your time. Hey guys, real quick. Hey, one more time, one more time, guys. Last thing, uh, after your fight, you gotta see the paramedics. I know a lot of you guys know that. They gotta take your vitals again, so just make sure that happens. It's very important. All ringside officials, I need you on the cage. We're gonna get going in two minutes with the prelims.